are Dortmund. Are they the real deal, right? 70, 27 points, number one in the Bundesliga. Looking a bit like Manchester City here. Can they be stopped? Are they the real deal? What do you see? I'm so, for them? I'm so pissed I missed this game. Yeah. Like oh, because man. it it like from like if I watch it now will I get a buzz no, out of it? No. Like at, <laughs> at the time I could see people on Twitter, people yeah. talking like sweet revenge for the three, right? Yeah. No, no, three, three, two, two, three, three two. two, okay. Yeah, nah, I'm really Royce, Royce second goal. What? He's back. That goal, that finish. Without, but, without, without yeah. Lewandowski's third goal that wasn't given was also pretty good. Yeah, as well. it was. Yeah, it was. Without yeah. injury, could Royce have maybe become one of the best players in the world? He, for That's me, one of, one of the best players, if Royce wasn't, didn't have his injuries, I would say he'd be one of the best attacking midfielders in the mm. world, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would say for, yeah. His, for, his, for his position, he the like, the for the injuries, mm. he was like levels. Yeah, amazing. Those injuries he's still really levels now. Like, like, if you look at what he's doing now, he's still doing... That's the thing, he's still, like, so, he's still performing really well. No, no, I think like for me, like with, with Dortmund, my only question is the inexperience. Because even in that game, it's a very young defence, and you can see them making a lot of mm. bad decisions defensively by the lack of experience, and Bayern exploited that. But... They play like literally. They are the best at one touch football, mm. one touch boost. So I just think that like, what's Favre is the MVP and is because of how he's coaching this team, how he's making them play. I think is better than what Tuchel did last season because I don't think mm. Tuchel really raising it from what Klopp did. So I think with what Favre is doing and how they're playing is amazing. So I think for mm. Bayern, this is this is good for the Bundesliga because again, it's, yeah. oh, it's yeah, a title yeah. challenge. Yeah. They're they're now mm. in a title dogfight where they've got injuries, players are old. And Nikol Kovac can't really be blamed because you're buying Munich. Why can't you? I'm sorry, this is modern football. You can't say, "Oh no, we're buying. We we will not spend a hundred million. We're not. No, this is you've got to spend the money. No, they spent the money. They, they took the best players from their surrounding teams. No, that's no, no. What, no that's, I, that's I, what I, they I said the, this summer, though. Yeah, they still took. Well, I mean, Gnabry was on their books already. Yeah, they, they, they signed Goretzka from Schalke, who's one of the best but German. They there was not a major mm. marquee signing that they made. Where they yeah. could make. They're falling a little bit into the AC Milan. Um, thing of like do you remember when AC Milan had like all those really amazing but too old to still play yeah, 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 yeah. and then they all left in a short space of time and Milan didn't really know what to do Ripley's like 34 if, How's it if Munich can't careful they're gonna have that problem do you know what I mean like four or yeah. five players are all gonna go yeah. and it'll be like Shit! What do we do? Quite so, like, they need to. They need the to German fix, so. national team as well it speaks it's exactly. Problem. It's yeah, the same yeah. problem. Mm, it's mm, new mm. ones not coming. Old ones maybe not there anymore. Mm. But yeah, you know, so. it is good because Bayern Munich made it boring, just always winning. And I do love the I fact know, right? that I do love yeah. the fact that it's Dortmund because yeah, Dortmund they're, like, they're almost like everyone's kind of second team is there. Like, mm. Everyone loves Dortmund. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, so it's really good, and I hope they're just keeping Pulisic warm for us as well. No, he's gonna struggle because Sancho is on fire. All of those goals are from the bench. Like, yeah. He's yeah. got nine goals. I think eight of them are from the bench. That's I was, crazy. I was actually going to mention Jaden Sancho um, because, you know, like he's, he's English, right? He's yeah. British. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So do you reckon he's going to come back then? He's just going to get his experience I, no, up I, in Germany? I hope. I hope he stays I hope, out. I hope he stays out there. Yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no he should remain there. He shouldn't come back. Like, I think okay. for me, basically, Sancho is the perfect example for players like Ford and all those English players. Don't be afraid to make the move abroad. Don't stay in your little comfort zone and your cocoon of England. Go out to Germany, go out to Italy, go out to all these players and actually have game time mm. and actually improve your football. Because I think players, players especially like the, I don't know, the Bundesliga is just really good for young players because yeah. I think how oh, yeah. fast the game is, how technical it is and how much they want to put young players into teams. It is the perfect league for young players. Like La, La Liga still has a hierarchy. Syria has sort of fallen down. So Bundesliga, if you're young, that's the best place to yeah, go. They to. give they give young players a chance. Like yeah. if you're good enough, they will play you, regardless of whether you're mm. in a relegation dogfight, you're top of the league, mm. you're you know, if you're good enough, you can be 17, 18, they'll put you in. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Every club in Bundesliga kinda has the same kind of um thought process in that. Yeah. In that Although respect. you know I will it's easier said than <clears> done to be like go abroad. Mm. Like I'll admit, especially as a as a born and raised English person, even though obviously I have other roots mm. we have it so good here and we're raised with so much like everything's here mm. that like your mentality is mm. i don't know like obviously i didn't grow up abroad mm. but like i feel like other countries are like no explore mm. try like well we're, we're like no it's all here you don't need anything else <laughs> mm. so like when you get to like 15 16 to tell someone to go abroad it's like a major culture mm. shock to them and be like no what do i need to go abroad for yeah. but then I mean? sanchez the example then but no it is but, but i think it's a lot harder to do it than when people just english players should just go abroad it's like it's a bit harder than yeah, yeah but sure, remember he's sure. from south london as well so we have to we're, we're used to traveling anywhere because we ain't got nothing in south london <laughs> <laughs> we have to travel <laughs> we, we have to go north or, or you know I, I'm, I'm just saying it's a bit harder <laughs> so, to mentally deal with yeah. just 
just got abroad. Like people, like, just got abroad. It's not that simple. Mm. Do you think Bayern can turn it around? I mean, they're fifth now in the Bundesliga at Neuer. You know, the the hero of the World Cup. Even Germany didn't go that far, but let's not open that mm. can of worms. But you know, he's he's been the hero, knight in shining armor. And now he gets all the crap on him, which isn't fair. Um, no, no, no. For me, I mean, I think the issue is that they are dealing with some bricks in the team, like. You have Boateng. Boateng's past it, mm. yeah. You have Muller as well. Even Hummels as well. Because Hummels yeah. said, said that he had yeah. like a stomach bug or something in the game. Yeah. He was horrible. And <laughs> he was completely exposed Could it be by the coaching, speed. though? Uh, no, I've, I think you some players all just, on yeah. Kovac. I'm, I'm not, not saying all of it, but these are really good players all of a sudden just playing the worst football ever. Well, well, Boateng's no, 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 been no. on the decline for a while. No, no, but it's I'll tell you, I'll tell you I saw this like, 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 your, your pine kiss is an amazing manager. Like, mm. If you put your pine kiss in this team right now, they will do a lot better. But there are very few managers like your your pinkers who can do that. I yeah. think like this team, it, basically, they had no business actually doing that well last no. season. Mm. This but team is all. They also, need a complete revamp. If you've got so, players sorry. who are naturally declining and then you change a system, it's it, generally it's going to show uh, their deficiencies. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's what's happening here. Kovac has come in and he wants to you know put his own stamp on the team. Which is totally different. But the from players Heinkes. that he's got, it's starting to show where they're not so good, where they used to be good. Do you know what I mean? So. Mm. Um, it's a big, big job for Kovac, and I doubt he's going to get to see it out, to be honest. I reckon he'll be gone before too long. I'm telling but you. But then we'll if, if with who, though? No, but if they're fifth, We spoke come, about it, come... Wenger. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being real. Wenger will go in there, and he would do a job for them, man. With those mm. players that are that age? Yeah. Wenger, well, I'm telling you, man. Maybe. Wenger. Munich is a beautiful city. Yeah. Nice beer. He speaks German. It's good. I'm te- Wenger, man. Wenger, mm. That's a perfect job waiting for Wenger, I'm telling you. 